everyone, so today I am going to be doing a September favourites video because I love favourites videos so much, they're like my favourite to watch so therefore they are my favourite to make and my eyes are going weird because of my soft boxes and they're really watering there's nothing else for me to say really right now apart from I hope you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe because I'm a whore and let's get on with the video I need to stop playing with my hair. My first favourite is in fact a face facial like cleansing wash thing and oh my god I can't even words how much I love this. I got this free at a blogger event but I'm not being paid to say this. Uh, I just got it for free and the woman was like if you suffer with like oily skin and spot bone skin, skin then you will really like this so I was like anything to help clear up my spots will be great. Tea tree is meant to be good at clearing up spots but it does nothing for me. Like I cannot find anything that actually helps my spots. I think I found my favourite product ever. Like honestly, within two days of me using it morning and night my skin, like my spots looked so much less noticeable and ever since I've been using it they've just toned down so much. My words can't even, like I can't. As you can see it's a really big bottle and it is from Exuviance and it's called the Purifying Cleansing Gel and it's in a, like a really pretty greeny blue like thing, it's not a box, I was going to call it a box but it's not a box. I know that last month I mentioned my Lizelle cleanser in it and that was my favourite last month and that is a good cleanser, like it's the best thing of removing makeup I have ever seen in my life. However, if your skin isn't too good like mine, you have oily skin or dry skin or spot prone skin, then this is probably for you because it is just incredible. Anyway, I go on about this for literally ever so I'm going to stop now but it's really really good. I was in New Look for the day and I had a little look at the makeup and I don't really shop in New Look anymore and I've never bought any of their makeup in my life. However, I saw the nail polishes and they looked so good and they had like such a nice like variety of colours. So I picked up the Pure Colour Matte Nail Polish in... 03 charcoal. This was like $1.99 or $2.99 or something like that. So it was super cheap and the bottle it looks really fancy. It looks quite expensive. It's like a matte black colour. However, I noticed like in some lighting it can look kind of mauve-ish, which I actually really like. I don't think it's meant to be a mauve black, but it is, but I like it so much. It's not the longest lasting nail varnish ever, but like you just need to put one coat on and you are sold. The best thing about it is that it dries really quickly and if you're a girl you will know the struggles or if you're a boy you may also know the struggles of slow drying nail polish so the fact that this is like is a fast dryer is just like the best thing ever next makeup wise it's a lipstick and this will come to no surprise to anyone because it's all i ever talk about and this is the mac diva lipstick i use this in my autumn makeup and it's just like a a ready pinky kind of autumn lipstick. I'm pretty sure this is like one of everyone's favourite autumn lipsticks. Like every autumn lipstick video I watch has this in and this has been my favourite for like the past two years now and I just can't get enough. It's like slowly going down but it's lasted me so long. Like I've literally had this for over a year and it's, I still haven't finished it so that's just how much I've been using it. What am I doing with my hands? <laughs> I do want to find a more purple lipstick so if anyone has any they can recommend which is like a ready purple then do let me know but this one is incredible lastly makeup wise i have the face form palette from sleep this is in light i am so pale it's crazy oh it's like reflective but anyway it's basically got a highlighter a blush which is like rose gold and it's gorgeous because like every female beauty youtuber i love rose gold <laughs> no surprise there and a con a contour thing what's it called the thing where you do the fish face and you put it con yeah contour that's right i'm not too keen on the highlighter of this but however the blush and the contour are absolutely gorgeous i love them so much and they last so long and there's something very satisfying about the closing of that that's kind of weird i don't know why but it's pretty satisfying <laughs> so weird lastly in kind of beauty things is a lynx attract for her deodorant body spray my uncle got me one of these a few years ago for christmas and i was obsessed like literally it's all i used for like two years and my nan recently got me for this the other day and look at the lid you turn it and the bit comes up i don't really know if you can see it on camera but it's so cool like Okay, I could do that for too long. Anyway, this Lynx obviously is a really good like brand and I love this so much. It smells like insanely gorgeous. Even though I go to like different perfumes and deodorants and stuff, I always go back to this because I just I just love it. And like seriously, what is my hair doing? It's actually really like it's annoying me. I can't even see it out of this eye right now. Obviously, a favourites video wouldn't be complete without a candle, and I have this one from the card factory. It's basically a shop that sells cards if you don't know what it is. 
but I got this because my mum was getting an anniversary card for my dad and I saw it and then I was like mum can I have this please and she was like sure it's meant to be an essence of nature vanilla scented candle by Victoria Meredith but it doesn't smell like vanilla you know the anchor candles they have like some cookie kind of sweet cookie kind of candles that's not what it's called but they, they smell like cookie it's something like that it literally smells like that it does not smell like vanilla but either way it smells gorgeous and it was $1.99 as you can see on the label and look the pot is the cutest thing ever it says live laugh love and it's such a bloggery candle I think it's very pleasing and the lid's gorgeous and yeah it's a it just smells so nice, I can't even. <laughs> the random favourites, the first thing I have is a weekly planner. I got this from Sainsbury's and it's basically got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and it's really cute and like got really nice colours. It's got loads of pages. I just think it's really funky like with all the patterns and the colours and it's so nice and I'm just going to put it on my wall because I am so disorganised. I need everything I can help me to organise myself. And I was going to get one of these big planners with like monthlies on and stuff but I just thought this was too cute for me to turn down and you can make like notes at the bottom so if you're bad with organizing yourself I'd really recommend things like this I also got a matching box thing just to put like business cards in and things that I collect and don't want to get rid of you know like the useless things that you have and you don't want to get rid of I just have a box for them because I can't get rid of them like I just physically can't and it matches this which will match my new room when it's finished I might have to make a video on organization one day for people who are disorganized like me because I am so on organisation right now, like my whole life I have been the most unorganised person ever. I lose everything, I get like stressed out over everything. So if you want to see a video on organisation then let me know down in the comments and I will make one. Film wise I have Pitch Perfect 2 obviously. First one, when it came out I was obsessed, I got it on DVD and I know it off word by word. Like I know the first one, word by word because I am like that much of a picture perfect fan it's kind of weird and the second one came out on cinema when I was in Manchester so I saw it with my friends Patricia and Rachel and then I saw it again like five other times with my family because I love it and it came out on DVD the other day and I begged my nan to get it because I just I, I am so passionate about Pitch Perfect I just couldn't not the soundtrack is incredible and let's not talk about the fact that there's gonna be a third one I'm, I'm so excited oh my god Anna Kendrick is queen like She's bae. I love her so much. Book wise, I have Soulmates by Holly Bourne. I have mentioned this in a video before. I can't remember what video it was. It was on my old channel at some point. But I've mentioned it. This book is incredible. It's basically about these two people, Poppy and Noah, and they meet. From the beginning, something really weird is going on because they seem to have this like really weird connection. And in the end, like it's not supernatural or anything, but in the end it turns out soulmates are real. And the ending is just, the ending like tore my heart open. Like no one died or anything, spoiler alert, but it's just so heartbreaking. I love it. Holly Bourne is honestly one of my favourite authors. Her books are incredible, I need to get more of them. I love her so much. She tweeted me on Twitter once and I practically had a heart attack. She's been one of my favourites for so long and I'd really recommend this book if you, you're into like romance kind of things and you're not into cliches because this isn't a cliche book so yeah if you're if you're all for cliches then don't read this because it's not a cliche book i love it i love it so much i definitely recommend all her other books as well because she's written some really good ones and there's also one out i can't remember the name of it but it's about mental health which i need to read because it's like on top of my list and i need to get it like asap because it, it just sounds so good and my last favourites for this month are YouTubers. Now, I have been watching so many YouTubers that I just, I've been watching too many, it's kind of getting out of hand. And the first YouTuber I'm going to mention is Sam Patterson. If you follow me on Twitter, you will know how much I love him. He, his voice is incredible. Like, I, I love him so much. I'm in love with his voice and he does a few like random vlogs as well, but he's mostly singing. But his channel is so, so good. Like, if I fall in love with him, you probably will too. If you like very attractive teenage boys singing with really nice voices, then you will love him. It's basically a summary because that's pretty much what he is. Also, he's really funny and nice and I just adore him. You probably think I'm a real weirdo, but I don't care because he's just... He's just amazing. <laughs> My next YouTube favourite is actually one of his script friends. I can't talk. Scotty Watson. I I followed him on Twitter for quite a bit. And then I saw him on YouTube and I really like his videos. Like they're, they're nothing like majorly fancy, but they're really entertaining to watch. And I, for some reason, I am so into like really 
downplayed videos right now like I'm not into like the big setups when it comes to watching them I'm really into like really small youtubers with like not the best kind of like quality and stuff like I don't care I'm really into them right now I don't know why I just love watching smaller youtubers who are all about the content more than the quality not that his videos aren't good quality because they are but they're just so insanely to watch and I love them so I will link both him and Sam in the description below and you should go subscribe to them because they're so good my third youtuber favourite is Sophie Foster now I've watched her for a while and I didn't like her videos at first I don't know why but I kind of found them kind of boring but I am so into her right now like oh my god her makeup videos are incredible like the thing she's so good at makeup and she's so pretty and i find her really entertaining i honestly don't know how i ever hated her like as soon as she uploads i am straight on watching that video because they're just so good so if you are into beauty videos and all that jazz then you'll love her because she's just incredible so i will also link her in the description okay that is it for this video because my hair is just getting on my nerves so much so thank you for watching, give this a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below your favourites and also I want to know who your favourite YouTubers are because I want more to watch. Subscribe if you want to see more of me, I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, although I don't know when this video is going up, but Wednesday and Sunday are my normal upload days and I will see you all soon. Bye! Bye! My head's itchy, which is totally interesting. <laughs>